Good morning, this is Mr. Parks from Risen Christ Lutheran School. I'm going to be creating a homework help video for third grade. This is going to help us with module three. So for module three, we are going to be working with learning doubling strategies. We're going to be working with two and four, five and ten, and three and six. And so on the screen, I've got a page from the lesson that is going to be, I think, Monday's lesson. We're going to be working with threes and sixes. And so this will kind of help show a couple of the strategies that we are working on. So to start with, um, for our problem, just to give all the parents a reminder of what I'm expecting from them, anytime we see a problem like this, they should be underlining. So I will be underlining the things that I'm expecting them to see. Um, so we're talking about a wind farm and having rows of wind turbines. The things that we need to underline, uh, we have nine turbines in each row. We have six rows and we want to know how many wind turbines we have. Um, I might change this slightly and make them draw a box um, because I saw that idea in a fourth grade lesson um, instead of just underlining it. So I might make that change soon, but that's what I would expect every single student to have underlined for this problem while we're working on it in class. Um, so one of the strategies we can use is take our multiplication facts for fives, and then we can add to it to get sixes, sevens, eights, so on and so forth. Um, so our multiplication fact um, with nine, with fives and nines, uh, would be 5 times 9 equals, and then we would end up with 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Um, I make my students do this during class. <laughs> like, hold your fingers up, count along with me uh, kind of deal, just to make sure that we can get through this a little bit more quickly. Uh, it is a little hard to write with my mouse, so uh, I don't have a stylus uh, and a pad to hook up to my laptop to do this. Now we need to add one more group of nine. And so what we would do is look at the number line um, where they can count on their fingers, and we would do 45 plus 9 equals, and then we would get our answer 54. Our multiplication problem that models this would be this here, so 6 times 9 equals 54. And then how many wind turbines do we have? We would have 54 wind turbines. And I'm just going to abbreviate. I am requiring my students to write the units. So if you see your student working on homework and they're not writing the units, that's one of the things that they are expected to do. Um, for class. Now the other strategy that we're using is actually doubling. So now we're going to work with 6 times 8. Um, and so the way that I normally approach this is if students don't have their multiplication facts for 6s memorized, they could work with counting by 3s and then double. So we are going to write a 3s fact with the factor of 8. So 3 times 8 and we will do, be doing more practice with this, but if we were to count up the way that we do with fives or twos or anything else in class, we go three and then six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. Oops, I don't have my fingers on <laughs> in there. And 24. There we go. Somewhere in here. Uh, I'm trying to watch it on my screen. <laughs> Everything's backwards. Uh, so three times eight gives us 24. And then we double. And so we would double by doing 24 plus 24 equals 48. And then our multiplication problem would be this problem right here uh, for 6 times 8 equals 48. And then we would have 48 blades. And I skipped this part, um, so we need to underline this part, this part, and the last sentence. Usually the last sentence is going to be uh, what we need to do. So they need to read the problem, be able to tell me what's going on in the problem, 
second read through, they need to underline the important numbers um, that we're going to use to find the answer. And the third thing that we, uh, third time through when we read, we want to underline what the problem wants us to do or uh, what we need to do to solve the problem. So we need to know how many blades, we're gonna get that by doing multiplication, okay? So that concludes this particular video. If you have any questions, please feel free um, to send me a text, email me, um, and I can go ahead and explain that for you. So hope you have a great day. Hope this video helps for my students uh, that are working through our Module 3 uh, lessons for this uh, particular book.